Good afternoon. My name is John Hill. I'm the past director uh, of the Pierce County Department of Assigned Council, and as such, I've been involved in the drug courts from their inception in both uh, of the drug courts. This report gets very favorable uh, information pertaining to the dependency drug court. It is not as glowing toward the felony drug court the involvement of Prometa. While it is an improvement over the drug court, it is indicated that it is not an exceptional improvement. This report uh, we've only had for a very short period of time, and my purpose for coming here to, to address you is to say, is to perhaps remind you that there are many agencies and people thoroughly committed to this protocol, and who I believe will remain committed to this protocol. Uh, the Attorney General's Office, the Prosecuting Attorney's Office, the uh, Department of Assigned Counsel of Pierce County Superior Court, the Department of Social and Health Services. This has drawn broad attention. I think this moves too fast without notice to the parties that have a stake in this and a serious stake in this to provide input to you. And so I ask that it take its course. This is a preliminary report. It's not a performance audit. It's a preliminary report on whether or not a performance audit should be conducted. And the overall recommendation is that the performance audit not be conducted because the University of Washington is, is conducting one and it would be at odds with it, and for ver a variety of other reasons. So I urge that perhaps uh, your consideration in, in thinking that perhaps this is moving too fast, too soon, without the appropriate input from all the various stakeholders. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Hill. Appreciate your testimony. Patrick Henney, uh, Director of Budget and Finance. Just a technical question on the administration of this, if it should pass council. The phrase, no funds shall be expended unless they're contractually obligated to spend, is the intention here that if this passes, that this program cease to have any funding at all from the uh, county council and that anybody who's in the program simply gets told tomorrow it's done. Or, or So I need to find out from what the council is thinking in terms of the phrase, uh, no money shall be expended beyond that contractually obligated. I'm not sure what that means in terms of the intent of the council should this pass. All right. That's a good question. Thank you. Anyone else? I'm not seeing anyone, then I'll close this portion of the hearing to council amendment number five, and we'll work to try and identify or answer the questions that were asked. Do you have any comments, council member Bunny? Or I I do, not to to Mr. Kenny's about where people are in their, their mid-treatment, but I think that there's five that are in mid-treatment right now. Certainly, there's this, provide, this proviso with pass will take 10 days to become effective. I'm sure that there are reasonable interpretations that can, can implement what I consider to be a timeout while we look at the issues. And again, I, I, I was not there from reading just simple news stories from around the nation last year. So every member will land where they may on the substance of the report. I need not go past the contract itself with uh, the Alliance before it rings a bell loud that there is something a little askew about the relationship of Alliance to our drug court let me give you the example. Out of the contract, it talks about Hythium at its sole discretion will determine the type, extent, and content of all data collected and reports prepared, if any, for each patient. So if we wanted dat data reports, they're controlling the company that has the profit incentive is controlling that. Public information and clinical presentations provided by the Alliance must be consistent with reports and marketing materials provided by Hythium. So they get the marketing materials which have our brand on them, Pierce County's brand, and everything that they do has to be consistent with, with the marketing and approval of the company. So in essence, by signing a contract with um, Alliance with these words in it, it is my belief that the representations made by the Alliance by contract must be basically marketing that drug. That is their job. And so the language contained in the contract raises serious concerns in my mind. If true, we were told that there were a number of other jurisdictions that had successful test cases around the country. The report says, uh-uh, we are the only example around the country where this is actually currently in use out of all of the test cases. 
So, I mean, if true, I recognize that we have a unique call here as to whether we allow this to, con to continue to move forward or whether we take a time out to investigate these. Um, and then, of course, is the statistical data, which shows that drug court itself in many other jurisdictions is equally successful. Mr. Hill, I have great respect for the work that you have done and that the sincerity of the commitment to, to how this fits together. The people you cited are all within the Pierce County family. I have not heard from the state. When it was sold to us, it was sold to us with the fact that the governor was squarely behind this. There is no piece of paper that's ever been delivered to us that says the governor and the state is squarely behind us on, on, on this. I believe that we are out there alone tied to a contract with a private company with a profit incentive here, and that we really ought to take another look. I think there's a, the equal amount of expenditure has been given on this program to what the Alliance came to us and asked us for. The dollars continue to flow from the state contract. It should not take us long to take that look, but there is enough questions raised in the audit that we ought to take a time out and take a look. And we on the council know within a week we can turn around a resolution if there has been a dramatic mistake in the content of what's been provided to each and every performance audit board member and each and every council member today in preparation for tomorrow's meeting. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. All right, thank you. Council Member Murray? Yes, uh, speaking of moving fast, I think we moved too fast last year in improving this. I know it only passed uh, not by a 5-2 to two vote, but the more I read on this, hundreds of red flags come up on this whole process. Uh, this is a, uh, a, a small drug company that was formed with backing of people who have a checkered past, so that raised a red flag. This is a, a drug protocol being used based on a theory from an overseas uh, doctor uh, using um, off-the-shelf drugs. It's a, it's a protocol that wouldn't be touched by the major drug companies, and for obvious reasons, uh, the liability. Th these kind of use of uh, off-the-shelf drugs to treat something like addiction needs to have good, solid science behind it before we we at the county level go stepping feet first. This should have been at the federal level and then the state level before we even got involved in this. I think what we're doing is financing somebody's fantasy, uh, financing a major, major placebo. And I think we're going to, and uh, when all said and done, we're going to be embarrassed by the money we spent. I know we had a lot of great people with great intentions. But I don't think uh, great intentions are the wise use of tax dollars. And, uh, and I, for one, believe that we, uh, we went way too fast. I think uh, we have rules and regulations at the federal level for a reason. And, uh, and, and I think, again, the county is putting itself in a huge liability uh, uh, position. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Any other comments? Not seeing any, then call for the vote. All those in favor of council amendment number five say aye. 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 Opposed? No. Do we have a roll call. roll call, please? Council Member Bush? Aye. Council Member Farrell? No. Council Member Gelman? No. Council Member Goines? No. Council Member Meary? Aye. Council Member Bunny? Aye. Council Member Lee. Aye. The amendment passes, four to three. All right, thank you. We now have before us proposed ordinance 2007-81S as amended. Is there anyone, if we're done with amendments, right, Mr. Bogan? Yes, we are. If we're Mr. done Chair. with amendments. Uh, anyone that wishes to testify on the supplemental budget ordinance as amended? Seeing none, then I'll close this portion of the hearing to testimony. Turn it back over to the council. Seeing no final questions, would the clerk please call the roll? Councilmember Farrell. Councilmember Farrell. Aye. Councilmember Gelman. Aye. Councilmember Goins. Aye. Councilmember Neary. Aye. Councilmember Bunny. Aye. Councilmember Bush. Aye. Councilmember Lee. Aye. Proposal passes as amended, seven to zero. All right.